Hey, it's Nathan with Crazy Eye Marketing. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to send a notification email to yourself every time somebody fills out a form inside of ClickFunnels. Now, it, this does entail using a tool called Zapier, which is free up into like 100 zaps, which is like 100 form entries is a way to think of it. So if you have more than 100 people filling out a form in a month, you'll need to upgrade to a paid version of Zapier. I think it's $20 a month to start. But Zapier does a bunch of other stuff too, so you might use it already and you might be familiar, familiar with it. So anyway, following this method, you'll be able to have somebody fill out a form and you'll get an email on the other end so you could follow up with that individual. And we're basically going to do this from scratch. Like I'll build the form right here and set it up through Zapier as well right here. So that way you see the entire process and hopefully gain an understanding of how you can do it yourself. So. I created a new funnel and it's asking me to select my page type, so opt-in page, and I'm just gonna look for like a pretty simple one. We'll go with this clean box opt-in here. And I'll just set up a thank you page as well real quick just so we have something for people to land on afterwards. So opt-in, thank you. All right, cool, this one's good enough. All right, so I got my two pages, an opt-in page and a thank you page. Now let's go to the opt-in page and edit this page real quick. All right, so here's a form. I got a name, an email address, and then a submit button. And you can go ahead and add more fields to this form. So I'm gonna do that now so you can see how you could add like custom fields, for example. So if you have like an application funnel and you have questions about somebody's business or what they're trying to accomplish, you could get that information. So what I usually do is I just clone a field if I already have one, so that way it keeps the same style and theme, just save a little bit of time. Then we go into the edit option here, and now we can select the input type. So you could of course use one of these regular or default input types, like name and email address, and then addressing address information. So one thing to note if you are taking address information, this information, address, city, state, country, zip, is billing information, which if you're sending to a payment processor like Stripe, this is what they're going to look at. So you need to make sure that like if you do like a zip verification code or a zip verification with Stripe, like it needs to match this zip here. So that's just something to note. And then this is shipping address information. So billing and shipping. But then there's also this custom type down here, which could be very handy for people. Um, especially if you're trying to take some custom information. So we'll just go with custom type here. And one thing you do have to do is give this custom type a name of some sort. And I'll just say business name. Now I don't know if there can be spaces or anything in this custom type. I always do one word, but you could try doing two words. Maybe I'll try that here for demonstration purposes, see if it actually works. So custom type, we have to assign a custom type. So business name, placeholder text. What is the name of your business? Required or not required, self-explanatory. And then of course you can mess with themes and advanced options, but that's not what this is about. Let's clone this, do another one, and do a salary. So how much money do you make? What is your salary? So we got these two custom fields on our form. And of course, I don't know, let's just throw in phone number as well, just for, for fun. So we got phone number, enter our phone number. Okay, cool, we got five fields now. Let's go ahead and save our page. Uh, test notification form. Yeah, why not? Okay, save. All right, so we got our form here. And now what we gotta go do is actually submit some data to this form before we go into Zapier and create our Zap. So full name, email address, Nathan at crazyimarketing.com. I guess I could do my actual Nathan Williams. Phone number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, zero. Name of your business, Crazy I Marketing. Salary, one milli, one million dollars. All right, download the free report now. All right, so I submitted that data. Now I can go over to Zapier and make a zap. So I'm logged in already. 
I'll go to make a zap and I'll do notification example as the name of this zap. Now for our trigger app, we want to go ahead and choose click funnels, click funnels. And we want new contact activity because that's what it is when somebody fills out a form. It's new contact activity. Go ahead and select your ClickFunnels account. Hopefully this is the correct one. And what funnel do we want to watch? So select your funnel that you want to pay attention to that has the opt-in form on it. And I'll find my form, email notification, funnel step. Go ahead and select the appropriate funnel step, so opt-in and continue. And fetch and continue. And then we can go ahead and view our contacts, see what information came through, make sure that it's the information that we just filled out on the form. So we got last name Williams, first name Nathan, scroll on down a little bit. We see more information, scrolling on down, and so on. Here's, here's that additional information. So here's my salary, one milli. Uh, scroll on down here, one milli. What was my other my business name. Oh, here's my business name too. All right, so it looks like all that information is passing through. So awesome. Continue. And then what we want to do is a built-in app and we want to go for email here and send outbound email, save and continue. And two, so who do we want to send this email to? So your email address, Ethan at crazyimarketing.com subject we can go we can create a custom subject line if we want to or just set a default standard line if we want to so i'll just do name build out the the application all right body text we'll come back to in just a second here so from name so who who sent this email so you could be like click funnels form if you want to or the name of the actual application or you could of course select you know the name of the individual name so reply to so if you want to be able to hit reply to this email and reply to somebody that's whose email address you enter into this line so let's say that I may want to reply to this lead let them know that I got their inquiry and I'll be in touch soon or whatever it is so I could go ahead and do email right there and then there's CC, BCC, and force line breaks. And CC is carbon copy and then blind carbon copy. Hopefully you know how emails work, so you can do that. And then force line breaks, I'd leave that to no, unless you have some issues, which you shouldn't with what I'm about to show you. So let's come back up here to body. And what I recommend you do is find a WYSIWYG editor. So what you see is what you get. What is the WYSIWYG? So just Google it or um, there'll be a, I'll include a link below this video to this one, uh, but there's 10,000 of them out there. But it just helps you, if you're unfamiliar with HTML, create HTML, which is what you're gonna need for this body content here. So what I could do is like, this person just filled out the form. And then I could do, first name, last name, email, phone, business name, salar salary, I can spell, email them back ASAP. All right, cool. We could throw some spaces in here or something. And Let's go ahead and bold this. Bold, do, bold, bold, bold. Okay, cool. So I got like my template here. And the reason I came over to this HTML editor, or WYSIWYG editor, I'm sorry, is so that way it just generates the HTML code for me. So I don't have to sit there and manually type that stuff out. And if you don't know HTML, then uh, it's a great way to do it. So I paste it in there and now I could go ahead, actually I'll delete that. This is a non-breaking space. So basically just hit space bar, but you could do a actual space here. So actual space, first name, click the little box here, come in here, first name, 
delete that out of there, put in the space. Oh, I got my colon on the wrong side. Let's fix that real quick. Space, Let's get the box, last name, space. We'll go with email, space, phone number, phone. Hide this space, business name. So we can also search business. So here's business name or additional info business name. I'll just do business name right here. Not sure what the difference is exactly, but they both have the same data in there. So hopefully it provides the same result. Salary, there we go. Looks good, continue. All right, so let me hit this send test to email by Zapier, and then I'll go check my email and see if I received an email. All right, so I did receive an email. It's pretty instantaneous. So Nathan Williams filled out the application. Here's his information. It's from Nathan at crazyatmarketing.com. If I hit reply, it goes to my reply to email address, and I can go ahead and reply to that person. So awesome, seems to be working here. Close, close. So I'll hit finish, turn on my zap, and wait for it to turn on. Okay, so it's on. Now, before I send any sort of traffic to this page, I would go ahead and test it again. Make sure that when somebody actually fills out this form that you actually get the email before, you know, you spend money on people coming to this page. But yeah, that's how you go ahead and you create a form and then you get a notification, an email notification when somebody fills out that form with the data that they entered using Zapier.